I recently ran an inspection camera through some PVC downspouts. I want to show you what I found. We have a lot of cracks in this PVC pipe. Right here, that is catastrophic failure. We see it all the time in PVC. We're gonna have to tear this downspout out. We're gonna have to run it in corrugated pipe. It's a gravity drain for a downspout. It's in the frost. What's gonna happen is dirt is going to keep pouring in from these really bad cracks. And you can see there's more over here. We got tons of cracks throughout, but we're starting to see we're starting to see some failure here. Some real failure in this pipe. Oh, here's another area. Yeah, that's really bad. So what happens is the dirt, the dirt's going to come in from these areas that are cracked really bad. And as the dirt falls in to the pipe, when we do get rain, it washes it out to the discharge. This is what's causing all the sinkholes in this yard. Wow, it just keeps getting worse. Look at that. Man, this pipe is in bad shape. Just busted up. This is what happens to PVC pipe. This is schedule 40. Look at this. Yeah, this is for sure what's causing all the sinkholes. It's washing all the dirt out. A lot of cracks. And that's going to cause more collapse. You're going to have more areas where dirt's falling in, collapsing inside, and being washed out to the discharge end. You know, PVC is a great indoor pipe. It shines indoors. God, look at all the cracks. Look at all the cracks. There's some leaves right here. This is So you always wonder, do I really need a leaf filter? I don't know. You decide. Here we are, we're in a smooth bottom pipe. Everybody wants to criticize corrugated pipe. Look at this. Like that is a massive buildup of leaves. I don't know if I can push it out with the camera or not. No, we lost our camera. Let's take a look inside a corrugated downspout system. Here in the north, we do not like running PVC in the frost. I just showed you why. I don't care to run PVC anywhere in the south, in the north. It's just prone to cracks. But you can see in this corrugated system, here's a not quite a 90. We're going down inside this downspout. You see how the not quite a 90 doesn't let debris fill up right in that elbow? It's ramped, and it pushes all the debris right through the system. I'm going to plow the camera through this not quite a 90 and take you on a 41-foot tour of a corrugated system. So everybody wants to criticize corrugated pipe because it has ridges and valleys. And they say, oh, the ridges and valleys are going to trap debris. Well, if you have a leaf filter, you catch all the big organics. If you have a catch basin, you catch all the shingle gravel. Here's an FDM catch basin. It's the only catch basin on the market that when it freezes solid full of water, your pipe still drains during a thaw. Basically, it was just common sense. You keep the basin a basin. The top portion represents the pipe, and it's put on the same slope as the pipe, so it always drains out. This was deliberately done. 
this was one of the details, one of the requirements when we built the catch basin, it had to be able to freeze up in the winter and still flow water during a thaw. No other catch basin on the market can make this claim. They all freeze up like a big bucket, like a five-gallon pail out in the yard full of water. They just freeze solid. So the camera does a pretty good job of correcting itself, but right now you can see the bottom of the pipe is to the right. This is a three-inch system, by the way. Now we're on the verge of freezing at the time of this inspection. And we had some light rain. So there is a small flow of water going through here. And the rain does pick up through this inspection. You'll see some water flowing. And I want you to pay really close attention when you see the water flowing through this corrugated pipe. Look at that. I love the harmonic motion of water through a corrugated pipe under a low flow. If you study cohesion and adhesion of water, you'll understand why it moves like that. Now, if you have a high flow, it's going to create turbulence near the wall of the pipe, and that's going to cause self-cleaning. If you have a low flow application and you never see a high flow of water, you'll end up with debris filling in those low valleys in the corrugations, and the bottom of the pipe becomes a smooth bottom pipe. These are just facts. This is 38 years of experience going through drainage systems with inspection cameras, and I just wanted to share it because there's so many misconceptions. I just want to bust some of those myths. The flexibility of corrugated pipe is its strength. The ground can shift and it doesn't crack. Vehicles can run over it. It has the ability to deflect and then come back to its original shape. When you drive over ground with a tractor, with a vehicle, the ground moves. The more moisture that's in the soil, the more it'll move. And the ground will actually spring back up. Corrugated pipe does just that. There's a lot of secret ingredients in Virgin HDPE. The different ingredients will do different things. Some are hardeners that'll add more strength and it'll make it more rigid. But if you add too much of that ingredient, you'll end up with a pipe that will crack like PVC. And there's some other ingredients. There's other recipes out there for virgin HDPE where the pipe becomes very elastic, allowing it to fully rebound right back to its original shape near 100% after some pretty serious deflection. Now, another myth that I'd like to bust, people think that this turbulence, you end up with this turbulence through corrugated pipe and it disrupts the flow so much that it really, really reduces the amount of gallons per minute that that pipe diameter is supposed to put out. The turbulence is at the pipe's surface where those ridges and valleys are. But through the center of this pipe, when you have a heavy flow of water, it flows no different than the water's flowing through a PVC pipe. So these misconceptions, yes, can you have a higher flow rate with a PVC pipe versus a corrugated pipe? Yes, the answer is yes. But to what degree? It's just at the pipe surface that there's turbulence. I've seen the flow tests. We spend a lot of money here at French Drain Man to see what all these parts are doing. We have a lot of prototype parts, and before they get in the hands of the homeowner, we make sure that everything's 100%. And I'm here to tell you that in the center of all these corrugated pipes, there is no disruption to the flow of the water. There's no turbulence. You're pushing a lot of water through the pipe is what I'm trying to say. The rain had picked up, and you could see that there was a continuous flow of water. I was trying to get this done before the rain and it was going to change over to snow. We were on the verge of freezing. I just wanted to get this footage. I wanted you to see this. This is an actual downspout system. It's installed. And this is what it looks like when you go through the inside of a three inch. This is an FDM three inch pro kit. And it's 41 feet long. 
So it does have some extra pipe on it. Now I'm in the pop-up emitter at the not quite a 90 and I'm going to push the camera up until we hit the bottom of the pop-up lid. There it is. That's the inside of an FDM pop-up lid. Now I'm going to try to push the camera up and out of the pop-up itself. I'm 41 feet away. I'm at the downspout up at the house and I have an inspection camera. You can see made in America, made in the USA that said. That's the inside of our pop-up lid. And you can see the grass there a little bit. I daylighted the camera. Now, I'm going to pull the camera in reverse, but I'm going to go through this really quick. I think this is going to be better for you, especially when we get to the catch basin. The camera does a pretty good job of correcting for itself. So the bottom of the pipe is never at the top of the screen. It's either to the left or to the right. It does self-correct at times. But you can see the rain has let up quite a bit now. You don't see the water in the pipe that was flowing before. Not as much anyways. Slowing down. And when we get to the catch basin, I want you to pay really close attention to that gap. The catch basin didn't have no holes in it. We didn't want the catch basin to leach water near the house because it was a sand soil. If you drill holes in your catch basin and you have highly permeable soil and your catch basin is close to the house, which I prefer to do that. I like to have a catch basin that's three feet from the house. We don't drill the holes when it's really permeable soil. You're going to lose too much water at that catch basin up near the house. Our catch basins are designed to where they can freeze up. I'm in the catch basin right now. Camera, as we were backing out fell down into the gap of the catch basin and there you have it you can see that's 100 percent three inch open hole not compromised in any way our entire system is made out of 100 percent virgin hgpe the pipe the leaf filter the not quite a 90 the pop-up emitter all of it it is meant to freeze up it'll expand it'll contract during a thaw and it'll work for you 100% without cracks. That's why we got away from PVC, and that's why we love HDPE, high-density polyethylene. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.